Could the operating system you're using right now be on the brink of an unprecedented transformation? Imagine Linux, the backbone of countless servers, desktops, and devices worldwide, facing a future where quantum computing isn't just a distant dream, but a tangible reality. At first glance, the idea of quantum computing may seem like something out of science fiction, a concept reserved for high-tech labs and theoretical physics papers. But the truth is, quantum computing is advancing faster than most people realize, and its implications for operating systems like Linux could be profound. While the core principles of Linux have remained robust and remarkably stable over decades, the rise of quantum technologies could challenge everything from security protocols to how software is fundamentally executed. Understanding this potential shift requires first grasping what quantum computing actually is, why it is so different from traditional computing, and how it might intersect with the world of Linux. Quantum computers do not process information in the binary sense that classical computers do. While a traditional CPU works with bits that are either 0 or 1, quantum computers operate with qubits, which can exist simultaneously as both 0 and 1, thanks to the principles of superposition. This allows quantum systems to perform certain computations exponentially faster than classical machines, especially tasks involving complex simulations, optimization problems, and large-scale data analysis. Another critical aspect is entanglement, where qubits can be interconnected in ways that allow instantaneous correlations over distances. These phenomena open doors to possibilities that traditional computers can barely touch. To put it simply, Quantum computing could solve problems that would take today's fastest supercomputers thousands of years in mere seconds. But what does this mean for Linux? The operating system has long been celebrated for its flexibility, stability, and open source nature. Its kernel has been meticulously optimized for a wide variety of architectures, from ARM processors and embedded devices to high-end x86 servers running massive cloud infrastructures. Linux is everywhere powering everything from smartphones to the world's largest supercomputers. This ubiquity makes it a fascinating subject when we consider the future impact of quantum computing. On one hand, Linux is incredibly robust, and its modular architecture allows developers to patch, adapt, and extend it to meet new challenges. On the other hand, the very principles that make Linux strong might be tested by the radically different paradigms introduced by quantum systems. One immediate area of concern is security. Modern Linux distributions rely on a range of encryption standards to protect data. From SSL TLS protocols to advanced file system encryption, these standards are built on mathematical problems that classical computers find difficult to solve, such as factoring large prime numbers or calculating discrete logarithms. Quantum computers, however, can efficiently tackle these problems using algorithms like Shor's algorithm, potentially rendering many current cryptographic techniques obsolete. This has led to the development of post-quantum cryptography, a field dedicated to creating encryption methods resistant to quantum attacks. Some of these methods are already being tested and even integrated into Linux kernels and user space applications, but the transition is just beginning. While it may take years before quantum computers are capable of breaking real-world encryption at scale, the fact that the Linux community is actively exploring solutions today highlights the proactive nature of the open source ecosystem. Quantum computing is not just a threat, it also offers opportunities. Scientists and engineers are beginning to experiment. With quantum algorithms for tasks that Linux traditionally handles inefficiently at massive scale, for example simulations for material science, chemical interactions, or climate modeling, could be accelerated with quantum-assisted computation. Researchers have already begun integrating quantum programming frameworks, such as Qiskit and Circ, into Linux-based environments like Ubuntu. This allows developers to write quantum algorithms on familiar Linux systems and test them on quantum simulators or actual quantum hardware. Over time, these early experiments could evolve into fully optimized quantum-aware applications running seamlessly alongside classical Linux processes. The flexibility of Linux's kernel is another advantage. Its modular design means that new types of processor architectures can be supported without rewriting the entire operating system. This opens the door for potential hybrid systems, where classical CPUs and quantum coprocessors work together, managed by a Linux kernel capable of orchestrating both types of computation. 
Imagine a future server where everyday tasks like file storage, network management, and container orchestration are handled by traditional CPUs, while highly specialized simulations or cryptographic tasks are offloaded to integrated quantum processors. Linux's adaptability could make it the ideal platform for such hybrid systems. Bridging the gap between today's technology and tomorrow's quantum-enabled infrastructure, however, it's important to temper this vision with realism. Quantum computing is still in its infancy, and most current machines are prone to errors, limited in scale, and extremely expensive. While companies like IBM, Google, and D-Wave have made significant breakthroughs, we are still far from having general-purpose quantum computers that can replace classical CPUs for everyday tasks. The most likely scenario in the near to medium term is that quantum computing will remain a niche technology used primarily for research, cryptography, and highly specialized industrial applications. Nevertheless, Linux developers and users who understand the potential now will be better positioned to leverage these advancements as they become more practical. Another interesting dimension is the cultural aspect of Linux itself. Open source communities thrive on collaboration, experimentation, and rapid iteration. The Linux ecosystem has historically been quick to adopt and adapt to new hardware innovations. From multi-core processors to ARM architecture, from GPUs to FPGAs, this same culture could accelerate the adoption of quantum computing in ways that proprietary systems may struggle to match. Already forums, mailing lists, and research groups are discussing quantum-safe algorithms, hybrid quantum classical architectures, and even quantum kernel modules. By fostering an environment of transparency and experimentation, Linux could not only survive the quantum revolution, but potentially drive it. But what might a quantum-aware Linux system actually look like? In practical terms, it could mean an operating system where quantum tasks are scheduled alongside classical processes, with specialized drivers and APIs designed to manage quantum resources efficiently. Applications could query quantum coprocessors for specific problem-solving tasks while continuing to run their usual workflows on classical hardware. Security protocols might default to quantum-resistant encryption, while software development practices could shift to accommodate new paradigms in logic and computation. The implications extend beyond desktops and servers, potentially affecting embedded systems, IoT devices, and cloud infrastructure. The impact on software development itself could be transformative. Traditional programming languages and paradigms are designed around classical logic. Quantum computing introduces entirely new concepts such as qubit manipulation, entanglement, and probabilistic outcomes. Linux-based development environments may need to incorporate quantum programming libraries and frameworks, allowing developers to experiment with hybrid algorithms that combine classical and quantum logic. Over time, this could redefine what it means to build software on Linux, encouraging new methodologies, tools, and best practices. For everyday Linux users, the change might be less immediately dramatic. Most users will continue to run their desktop applications, servers, and cloud workloads on classical hardware for many years. However, the ecosystem's response to quantum advancements will indirectly shape user experience. Quantum-safe encryption could become the standard, ensuring that sensitive data remains protected. Hybrid quantum classical cloud services might deliver unprecedented computational power for scientific, financial, or AI workloads. Even gaming and simulation could benefit from quantum-assisted rendering or optimization, although that may be further down the line. The timeline for these changes remains uncertain. But experts generally agree that widespread adoption of quantum computing in everyday computing is at least a decade away. Early adopters, researchers, and enterprise users may see tangible benefits sooner. But the average Linux desktop or server will likely continue operating much as it does today for the next five to 10 years. What matters now is awareness and preparation. By understanding the principles of quantum computing and following the Linux community's initiatives, developers and system administrators can ensure that their skills and infrastructures remain relevant in a quantum-enabled future. In conclusion, the intersection of Linux and quantum computing is both exciting and complex. Linux has the advantage of flexibility, a vibrant open source community, and a proven track record of adapting to new hardware paradigms. Quantum computing promises unparalleled computational capabilities, 
along with significant challenges to security, software design, and system architecture. The realistic scenario is not an overnight revolution, but a gradual integration with hybrid systems post-quantum cryptography and experimental quantum algorithms paving the way for a future where Linux is ready to leverage the quantum advantage. As quantum technology continues to advance, Linux users, developers, and enthusiasts face a critical choice, wait and react, or engage proactively and help shape the tools, standards, and best practices that will define computing in the quantum era. One question remains for all of us, when the quantum leap finally arrives. Will Linux simply adapt or will it lead the charge into an entirely new dimension of computing?